Do you guys remember me last month complaining about having Santa Claus on my calendar? This one's less creepy, right? Hey guys, my name is Chris if you didn't already know and welcome to my show Smeg Chris. Oh, and Happy New Year! Before I get started, I want to ask, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? I'm going to trim my nails and wash my hair more often. Of course, Fred has to be sarcastic. I don't know what you mean. I just said to try and enjoy a few long segments, or you're uh, not the only one today, are you? No Percy can breathe easy. What about you, clone one? I'm going to stop eating so many biscuits. You don't eat biscuits. See, it's working already. Anyway, seeing as it's the new year, I figured I'd tell you the things that I learned in 2018. At least, I think I learned a few things. For example, I can actually put myself on a DVD ban and stick to it. So, uh, what's this then? Well, there are a few DVDs that are exempt from the ban. A new Tremors film is on that list. Besides, it was only £3, and I didn't even know it existed till the other day. I couldn't resist. But I have stuck to that ban since April. Only because my pile of new DVDs is still too large. I better hurry up and watch them. I'm lifting my ban in April. I've also learned that having a dash cam is fun, especially when you make videos out of them and put them on a new YouTube channel. I love catching out Muppets doing stupid things. I've also learned that there are other enjoyable television shows other than superhero ones, such as 911 and SEAL Team. I've been really into them. I've also learned this. For years I thought my electricity in the house was problematic. I'd turn on my oven and all the plugs in the house would trip out. Turns out it was just my old oven. Since I've had it replaced, everything has been fine. I wish I'd learned that one sooner. Would have saved a lot of headaches. I learned that South Wales is an incredible place to visit. There was so much to see and I didn't even get to see all of it. I have every intention of going back someday. I found that some things can still scare me, like the game Granny. One thing I really enjoyed learning was that I could still surprise you guys, the viewers. That video I made where I announced that I was returning to Los Angeles was priceless. I found that I can also get surprised. Like when my mother bought me a new tent. Oh, and also my cousin Starfish, aka Jess, revealed to me that she was pregnant. She now has a beautiful daughter. I've also learned that using a green screen is not easy. Well, filming in front of one is. Trying to edit an episode afterwards isn't. I've also learned that having plantar fasciitis isn't something that goes away that easily. In fact, I still have it. And it started in October of 2017. I also learned not to worry too much about having special or anniversary episodes of my videos. I worried a heck of a lot over what I was going to do for my 1000th vlog, but it turned out to be something special accidentally. First off I went to Sherwood Forest because I'd not been there since I was a child, and then on a whim I went into the Peak District to try and find this bridge that I've been searching for for years, and I found it! And it was also a beautiful hot sunny day. Talking of hot sunny days, I learned that Britain can actually have a good summer. Who knew? This one, I didn't learn right away. If, when I'm driving, I ever hear a thump from under the car, check to see if my oil cap has fallen off. Again. Took me three weeks and a bad chest infection to figure that one out. But the biggest thing I learned is that I can drive on the opposite side of the road in a left hand drive car. I spent years, decades in fact, worrying about whether I could do it or not. I finally went ahead and did it and it turns out to be one of the easiest things I've ever attempted. I also loved it so I'll never be afraid of doing it again. That reminds me of one last thing I learned. I can leave Los Angeles without crying. Yeah right, I bet you wet buckets. Only on the inside Fred. Only on the inside. And that's what I learned in 2018. I'm pretty sure there are others, but obviously I've since forgotten about them. Guess I didn't learn those lessons. Anyway, that's the episode, so it's time for me to go. So I shall say thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. Chloe, where are you going? I've decided that picture is too creepy, so until it's gone, I'm staying behind this sofa. Hmm. I might keep it up forever then. I know I'm late with this video, I had every intention of filming it and posting it last week but unfortunately I came down with a really bad cold. My nose was just constantly running, my chest was just clogged up so much and I was coughing and barking everywhere and the worst thing of all, I was sneezing quite violently I should add. And it wasn't just the one, it was like one and then another, straight away. They were that powerful in fact that I was kind of worried that if I did sneeze in front of the camera I would have knocked the tripod over and I would have had to have cleaned the lens and probably sanitise it as well. Don't want to have to do that. And now you guys have a gross image in your mind, don't you? Oops.